For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I'd like to show you how you can use a touch display and vector I.O. to create a circle drawing program. So this is a very simple drawing program, and, and maybe I'll be able to extend this to some other shapes and, and styles of, of drawing tool. But since we've been looking at these little cap touch or resistive touch displays, this one happens to be a Pi Portal, but this would work with any of our TFT feather wings and other uh, breakouts as well. We have a little display there. We can record the position and the pressure when we touch the screen, and then we can use that for stuff. So at one point a few weeks ago, I showed how to determine the distance between two points. Then I showed how to draw a little circle wherever we touched. Now we're going to combine those things, and we're going to place a point on the screen for the center of a circle, and then we'll place a second point to determine the radius of the circle, and then we draw the circle. So you can see I just have to touch once and twice, and I'll draw my circle. So the way this works, if you look in the code here, in CircuitPython I'm importing a bunch of libraries including the vector I.O., which is responsible for drawing the shapes, and the Adafruit touchscreen library. We initialize the display, and then I'm creating a color palette for those three colors. I am setting up three circles, one I'm calling the center point, one the edge point, and one the final circle. And I actually draw those on the edge there at the beginning when this first starts, just so we see some little four radius circles. And then I append those to the uh, main group of the display, starting with the circle, so that's at the bottom, and then on top of that the edge and the center point, and that's just so that we can still see things since they're drawn sort of in layers on top of each other. Then we initialize the touch screen. I have the same little formula we used before to determine the distance between two points. And then I set up some empty variables that will fill as we go. In the main loop here, you can see I am checking for the screen to get touched using touchscreen.touchpoint. And I cast that into a variable called PT. And that'll actually be a tuple that'll give us the X, Y position and touch pressure. Then if the first point versus the second point is being touched, I can check with this right here by checking the state of that variable. Then I will create a variable called PT1 that is that original set of the tuple. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and hide any existing circles by moving them off to the edge. I draw this new circle by grabbing the touch points X and Y positions. That places it somewhere on the screen. And then I have a little sort of debounce moment there, half a second to wait before I touch it for the next point. And then with the second point getting drawn, I am again placing another dot. You're going to see that show up. But then a moment later, this happens. I find out the distance between those two sets of X, Y coordinates. And then I create a new circle that has the first set of X, Y as its center and the second set of X, Y as the radius of it, the distance of it. And then we sleep and repeat. So we can go and draw new circles. Uh, we can even make it look like we're dragging to create them by just waiting a moment there. Boop, boop. And that is how you can create a circle drawing tool inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.